my channel. I am so, so excited for today's video. As you can probably already tell from the title, it's an Hermes unboxing. <sighs> okay, I'm trying to calm myself down so that I can get through this video. Now, it's really exciting for me because this is a true unboxing. I've never seen this before because my mom actually picked it up from the store. I was working, so I haven't been able to see it, but I know what it is, and I'm very, very excited about it. Spoiler alert, it is from my wish list. I literally cannot believe it. I uploaded that wish list video, what, three, two, three weeks ago? Or maybe it's been longer than that. But it didn't take long, and we were finally able to get this item in store. Yes, it is a bag. And yeah, <laughs> sorry, my brain is like all over the place because I'm just so freaking excited. But before we get to the unboxing, I just wanted to quickly welcome anyone new who might be watching my channel. My name is Saki. I upload videos every single week about luxury fashion handbags are my thing so if you like that type of content and you like watching videos all about luxury handbags please 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 subscribe to my channel i upload twice a week and i also do monthly giveaways so there is plenty to do and see here all right so let's just get into it <laughs> okay so here is the bag so as per usual i will unbox it first and then i will give you the story because when does a handbag ever not come with an interesting story all right so here it is can you tell what it is by the shape of the box i am not like an hermes expert so i don't know if you guys can tell but all right <laughs> my heart is bounding right now okay so here it is it's probably in a dust bag right uh, oh my god i can see the color already i'm freaking out okay okay so here i have to reveal to you my new Oh my god. Hermes Picatin in Rose Sakura. <laughs> I'm just so, I just, I'm looking at the color right now and my heart is beating so fast. I don't have anything in Rose Sakura that's this big. All we have are like the little tiny bracelets that are just a little bit of leather. So to see like the Rose Sakura color, this, like this much of it is just, I'm, I'm speechless. Like, it's just so pretty. I cannot tell you how freaking pretty this pink is, guys. Like, it's my favorite pink, I think. I'm so shocked right now. Um, all right, so it came stuffed, so let me, like, put it together for you. So this is in the size 18. It is the smallest, and after I take the stuffing out, it does, um, like, take its shape on its own like that. So there's a little leather bit over here, and then you just thread it through the little metal part. Um, this is in silver hardware, so the little metal pieces and the lock is silver. So it just looks like that, and then I would put the lock right here. This is the little lock that came with it. I honestly really do like this color with silver, actually. Now that I'm looking at it, it's funny because I have a bracelet with the rose sakura and the swift leather, and that has rose gold hardware, and then my mom has a bracelet and that's gold hardware, and then this is silver hardware. And I honestly do think that this rose sakura, like pink color, can really go with literally all three hardwares. I think it looks really, really good with silver. I actually, hmm, I'm kind of like thinking I wouldn't mind like a rose sakura, Birkin or Kelly, like in silver. I think that would actually be really, really cute. Maybe it's also because I've warmed up to silver lately. Um, but anyways, God, my brain is all over the place. So this is, um, did I already tell you it was the 18 size? So this is just what the bag looks like on the outside. There's really no bells or whistles besides the little, um, like, lock. And then the bottom does have four little silver feet. On the inside, there's also pretty much nothing. It's just an open compartment with the leather lining. And at the very, very bottom, there is an Hermes Paris stamping, also in silver. So this is the Picatin Lock 18 Terry. Tortorian Clemence. So that's the name of the leather, right? 
sorry I totally butchered that and then the price was $27.50 before tax I feel like that's not too bad I think I'm just like so jaded from like the Chanel prices lately especially after the Chanel price increases that I'm just like Hmm, $2,700 is not that bad, especially for like the quality that you get with Hermes. This um, Clemence leather is actually really, really soft. It feels really nice. I don't think I've ever like touched anything with it before. It does have like a bunch of um, like lines because it is like a grained leather. So I do feel like it's also pretty durable. It doesn't feel like I'm going to be able to easily scratch this. I think that this is just like the perfect summer bag. It looks like um, a little like picnic kind of bag. I don't know if that makes sense, but or like a flower basket kind of thing. I'm not sure like how else to describe it. Sorry, I just put the lock on there because it kept opening. I feel like it actually would go really, really well with this outfit that I'm wearing right now. This is just like a blue dress and it's got some pink flowers on it. I'll stand up in a second and like kind of model it for you guys. But, um, okay, so where was I? Okay, the story of the bag. So I had told you guys a couple of weeks ago in my Hermes wish list video that I was looking at the Hermes Picatin in the Rose Sakura color, but I mean, it was just a dream at that point because this is so rare and my essay was telling me that they hadn't seen like this bag in years in the store, even though they do bring the Rose Sakura color back sometimes, like seasonally, they just hadn't seen it in the store in years. So even though I knew that, I was just like, okay, let's just throw it on our wish list anyway. In case this is the first video that you're watching from me where I'm talking about Hermes, my mom and I always go into Hermes together, so technically all of these items on her account but it's because she really wants to buy a black Birkin in store or actually she's like kind of changed her mind on that she's open to more colors now but the point is she really wants to get a Birkin in store I want a Rosakura Birkin so I'm not planning on buying it in store I just think that's never going to happen it's just way too rare especially because I want it in the gold hardware as well so I'm slowly saving money to buy it second hand um, but my mom and I both make purchases on her account so that she can, you know, raise her purchase history and get closer to work in. And our sales associate knows this because we come in together every single time we buy from Hermes. So that's why I keep saying we, sorry. All right, so yeah, we put it on our wish list. And so because this bag was so rare, our essay was like, well, do you want to look at other Picatins? Like, I just don't see us like getting a Rose Sakura one for a long time or ever. <laughs> so we actually went in last week or two weeks ago to try on some Picatins in the 18 size. She tried on one that was black and silver, and then she tried one on that was in the um, tube color, which was really pretty as well. But ultimately, my mom doesn't like darker colors that much, and she also already got the black Kelly Pochette, so she wasn't looking for another black bag. So she was like, you know what? Like, maybe throw like blues onto my wish list maybe i'll take like a beige color or a white color and we were kind of like broadening the um colors that she liked especially in the picatin so that we'd have a better chance of getting something but then a couple days ago my essay texted me at eight o'clock in the morning and was like um we have a shipment and there's a freaking rose sakura picatin and I was getting ready for work at this time, so I didn't see the text message until like 10 o'clock. But as soon as I saw it, I called him back and was like, oh my god, we'll take it, we'll take it, we'll take it. He told me that I had to be in store that day, like they couldn't hold it for me. And um, so I couldn't go because I was working, but then my mom was able to go. And she said that the environment in Hermes was a little bit salty. <laughs> now, when we usually go in, everybody's so nice to us, like saying hi and like greeting us. But she said when she went in this time to grab this bag, nobody said hi to her except for our essay. And I think like the vibe was that every single person wanted to sell this to their client, but because our essay had gotten there really early in the morning and was the only sales associate there, he was able to ask the manager first for us because he knew that we really really wanted this bag and I think it helps that everybody knows us as like the pink girls <laughs> like the pink mom and daughter because we're always in pink and we're always talking about how we only like you know rose sakura or rose confetti or I guess that's more so in my case but everybody knows that we are the pink team and so I think that's also why the manager was just like 
all right, you know, sell that back to them. It's just so popular that everybody wanted it. So we were very, very lucky that our essay happened to be there first thing in the morning before everyone else and saw this shipment. So I'm so grateful to him and I'm so glad we were able to buy it in store. I mean, even the secondhand price for the Pikachu is very, very expensive. So I'm just so happy we were able to buy it in store and it also helps the purchase history. So my mom is closer to getting a Birkin, hopefully. <laughs> All right, so this is what the Pinkerton looks like on me, and oh my god, it goes with this dress so well. Okay, so um, I am five foot three or 160 centimeters, and this is the 18 size, like I was saying. I think this is the perfect size for me. Oh my god, it's such a cute summer bag. Like, look how great it goes with this dress. I think it's gonna look really great with like casual outfits as well, but I really do think that the combination of like a cute floral dress like this and the Pinkerton bag is just perfect. Um, one thing I will also have to mention is that a lot of people like to put twillies either on this handle or on the middle part, but I do really like the way that it looks plain. I think it's really, really cute. Mm, what do you guys think? I'm so in love with it. It's such like a fun summer bag. Like I want to wear like one of those big um, sun hats. I think it would look really cute with this outfit. <laughs> Alright, so that was all for this video. I'm just like still in shock. I can't believe that that manifested so quickly. <sighs> We're just so, so happy. My mom and I are definitely going to have to fight over and share the bag. But I do really think that it matches both of our styles and we're going to get so much use out of this. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think of this bag. What do you think of Hermes in general? Let's have a conversation. I would really love to know your opinions. All right, so I don't actually have my item yet for the July giveaway. I've ordered it. It's on its way, so it should be here for the next video. However, like the start of last month where I also failed to acquire the item on time, um, this video will still like count if you want to come back and leave whatever emoji I've decided is this month's giveaway emoji. You can still leave that in the comment section below just come back to this video and make sure that you count this one too because this might be the video I choose um, to grab the comment off of. Don't forget that if you are going to enter any of the giveaways on my channel you do have to be subscribed to me on YouTube and following me on Instagram and yeah thank you guys so so much for watching I hope that you enjoyed it and I will see you next time bye I told you I'm not yours anymore no I'm not yours so why are you Trying to hold on, to hold on when I'm not there.